Of people gathered in Scottsdale to show their support for women protesting their government thousands of miles away. Yeah, this is the third week of demonstrations here in Arizona and across the world in response to the death of a young woman in the Middle East. Reporter Christiana Ramos is live in Scottsdale with more. Christiana. For over 40 years, the Iranian government has enforced strict laws on women. But after 22 year old Masa Amini was killed, a younger generation came up. They rose up to say enough is enough. Today is a global day of solidarity. And here in Scottsdale, their message to Iranian protesters, don't be afraid. We are all together. It's been three weeks since Masa Amini was killed by morality police for wearing her hijab wrong. This was the spark that created that moment that was needed for millions of people in Iran dealing with the injustice that was going on. Hassam Rahimian migrated to Arizona from Iran 35 years ago. He says strict laws on women have plagued Iran for decades. Either uh, you believe in it or you don't, you have to wear it. It takes a lot of courage to stand up for yourself and to, you know, remove your hijab and cut your hair. The younger generations leading the movement say enough is enough. When they go out to protest, they either get beat to death or shot. So they're able to limit these protests. According to Hassam, whose family's in Iran, thousands of people have been killed there. Despite the Iranian government cutting internet access to prevent gatherings or images of the killings from getting out, Masa Amini's death sparked global protests. In Scottsdale today, hundreds of protesters waved Iranian flags chanting her name. Anissa Afghami is one of the organizers. I've noticed that even non-Iranians um, are just pitching in, coming by, supporting us. And I think overall that's what's really important. Anissa says she feels empowered when she sees Iranians risking their lives because it's not just about a dress code. There's segregation between women um, and men, even in classrooms. So we really don't have any equity, any equality. Um, women, they cannot choose what jobs they want. The continuous killings in Iran are just fueling that anger towards the regime. As you can see from the images in Iran and here in Arizona today, Iranians will never be silenced again. Tonight in Scottsdale, Christiana Ramos, Arizona's family.